What's up YouTube, Bloodspawn here with another how-to video. In this video we're going to be talking about everything binders, uh, how to store your autographs, um, and my process and way of how I keep my binders. Uh, so we'll get right into this. Uh, the first thing for binders, uh, I always use the three inch binders. Uh, now, a lesson that I did learn with this uh, is you don't have to go all out with the uh, heavy-duty ones. The you know normal binders work. I wouldn't get the El Cheapo ones. Um, but the main thing with looking this, and I and I learned this kind of the hard way with my first couple binders, is the ring. Uh, you know, like I said, you get a three-inch binder. It can hold probably about a hundred pages uh, back and front of autographs. So it's going to be around for a while and have a lot in it by the time it's full uh, but you don't want to get a round ring and by that let's see if this will show up it's not fully round but you see how that ring is pretty much like almost like a full circle uh, the problem with these is when you get them kind of full you can't see it from that side See what happens there? Like if I'm going to put this back in the shelf, you see the autographs are not in the binder. They're kind of slid down like that. So you'll bend these all up and stuff like that. So the kind of ring that you want to look for is one where it's kind of like a half moon. It's round on one side but then kind of straight down. So that way no matter what, you know, the autographs are going to stay up in there nice and neat. So that's the first little uh, idea. For the pages, just regular acid free page protectors, sheet protectors, whatever you want to call them. You can pick all this stuff pretty much up at Walmart. Um, then I use uh, construction paper to mount my photos. Um, so basically, TTMs as they come in, I'll go ahead and mount them on my designated color for whatever they are. Um, construction paper so here's one that just came in the other day so it's mounted and everything like that ready to go um, then basically with uh, as far as putting the photos on the construction paper um, clear or uh, clear <laughs> clear scotch tape is what you want um, that way it, it'll hold it nice and good but you can also uh, peel it off later down the road if you trade one or want to rearrange or you get more photos or something like that um, it'll peel off and most of the time it doesn't leave any residue at all sometimes it'll leave a little tiny bit um, so once I get them like this basically you know as I get them in I put this on I use all the same person for one sheet I used to do you know front could be one person the back could be a different person the problem with that is, is when you get more of somebody like that you know then boom you know, somebody's already on the back so I learned this is the way so boom here it is there's my extra photo if I get more of her I got her here if I trade this one I can just take that off the back and the front still stays the same so one person per page is what I would recommend um, and then I'll go ahead and as these guys are building up I'm uh, building a list of their names because I like to print out little name tags for my people so once I get a full sheet one page worth of name tags I'll print them out cut them on there uh, and then you know mount it underneath the photo like that so that way no matter what years from now I won't forget who this chick is um, so I like the name tags of not, not everybody does them um, but I, I also for the binders segregate your binders by the different types of gen genres um, that makes it the easiest to find stuff so like my binders are all labeled on the front of the binder when I put them on my shelf so this one's miscellaneous so in here I got politicians music all kinds of stuff like that it doesn't fit into one of my other ones uh, the black one that I held up is marked models so I have actors actresses adult miscellaneous models sports 8x10s I keep all my 8x10s separate in their own binder and then if you want to you can get smaller binders like this one here which is my Walking Dead binder it's probably only like a inch and a half or inch ring 
uh, and then basically all of my Walking Dead successes would go in this one binder once you have enough to start your own binder. So I have this Walking Dead binder and I also have a Game of Thrones binder. Um, they also make binders like this little guy uh, for the playbills and they have their own sheet protectors so you can store them. The only downfall is these they're little small rings so I think you can only fit like 10 or 12 playbills in each binder. Uh, but it's something that keep them all together. Um, so once you got everything segregated into your binders, uh, like I said, I use uh, paper, the colored paper. So like the color here, miscellaneous, every page in this book is going to be on the, key, the same color. So like blue is miscellaneous, red is my walking dead, yellow is for actors, black is for actresses, purple is for models, green is for sports, things like that. So it, it all like... When it all comes together and you got a binder, you know, one binder, you can see all the purple sheets. It all makes it look nice and uh, organized. Um, plus, like I said, it's really easy to find, you know, for trade or something like that. If somebody says, hey, do you have so-and-so, you go, okay, that person's a singer. So I grab my miscellaneous binder alphabetically, and they wanted to know if I have uh, R&B singer Sierra. Then I just go in order and look for it and it's an 8x10 so it's in another binder um, so easy way to do stuff like that uh, is by segregating your binders um, and then plus like I said if you mount them one per it doesn't matter that way if I trade that one or if I get more I don't have to reorganize so it took me several different uh, ways of doing these before I came to this system here you know, it's all the same binder, which uh, makes it nice and it looks nice and organized on the shelf. Uh, but then segregating, color coding everything, alphabetical, so I can get to my stuff real quick and easy. Uh, and then, like I said, I just kind of build a stack of TTMs that have come in. So here's uh, what an 8x10 looks like. And here's uh, yellow for the actor. You can see that one's all the way filled, so if I get more of him, I would have to go to a second page. Uh, and then I print the name tags, stick them on here, and then I file them into my binders. And, the, and that system is pretty easy. I just stack all the yellows with the yellows and the reds with the reds and put them in alphabetical order and then put them in my binders alphabetically. So it's a really, really easy system to keep track of. It looks, it looks great. It's not that expensive. The binders are probably the most expensive thing. You're going to pay seven to ten dollars for a binder. The page protectors are only three or four bucks for like fifty. The construction papers, like less than three dollars for a hundred sheets. The scotch tape you can get two rolls uh, at the Dollar Tree for a buck. Uh, and then printing uh, the name tags is just ink and printer paper. So which we already have for our TTM. So that is my filing system and way to do things for my binders. I think this is the simplest way to do it, easiest way, and like I said, you'll really benefit from you know, all the times where we're trading stuff or giving away stuff or selling stuff or somebody messages message you and says, hey, do you have so-and-so? You know, Within a matter of a minute, you can grab that binder, look them up alphabetically and say, yeah, I do, and I have this many of them because they're all right there together. And if you want to trade one, boom, grab it out. It's not like you're messing up your binder because you can just simply take one and reorganize it with taking the picture off and adding another one to it. Um, so it's the easiest way, I think. So hopefully you guys uh, like this. I uh, know most people uh, that I know have switched to this version of uh, binder uh, organizing, but... So that's about it. There's not really too much to it. Not many tidbits. Stay away from the round rings. Um, don't spend the extra three or four dollars on the heavy duty uh, binders. You know, simple seven, six, seven dollar binder uh, like the ones I use uh, will work fine for you. And that's it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching.